Welcome everyone, the first step to transfer data from your old pixel to your new pixel is if your new Google Pixel, you can see the lock screen here and you can go to the home screen, then we need to factory reset our new Google Pixel. If you see this screen, welcome to your Pixel, then skip 20 seconds forward into the video as the phone is on a setup screen. But if we see the home screen here, the first step is I want you to open up the settings. And in the settings, I want you to scroll all the way down until you see here, system. You are then going to scroll to the bottom until you see reset options. And then you're going to select erase all data. And then erase, enter in your biometrics, erase, and now patiently wait for the phone to factory reset. Once we see welcome to your pixel on your new Google Pixel, we're going to tap on get started. And then we should see set up using another device. On your old pixel, you should see here, setup, and then your new pixel, and you should see the setup option. We're going to tap on setup, and then the phone should connect, and you will need to scan the QR code using your old pixel. So there we go, it scans, and then we will need to enter in our biometrics. If you did not get that prompt on your old Pixel, first of all, update it to the latest software if you can. And second of all, turn off the old Pixel, turn it back on, and that prompt should show up. So from here, it's going to transfer your Wi-Fi information, your Google accounts from your old Pixel to your new Pixel and then later it will do the data transfer so let's wait for this one to complete it is now asking us to connect to eSIM you don't have to do this now I'm personally going to tap on skip as I'll be inserting a physical SIM card later and I do have videos on my channels for both inserting a SIM and activating eSIM it's now asking us to set a pin I would recommend you do this. And so I'm just going to re-enter. It is now asking us to set up fingerprint lock. If you were upgrading from an old Google Pixel, the older Pixels have the fingerprint sensor on the back of the phone or in the power button. With the new Google Pixels, it is in the screen. So let's scroll to the bottom and then we will agree and then we'll tap on start so it says touch and hold the fingerprint sensor and so you need to hold your phone on the screen and as you scan just move your, your thumb downwards upwards to the side and so we're just trying to get a scan of our full finger i will admit this fingerprint sensor is not as good as the uh, the one on the back of the phone so if this is giving you issues i will have uh, videos on my channel on how to improve the detection but the tip is you just scan your finger multiple times so you tap on add another and then scan again but you can always do that in the settings and there are videos on my channel if you need it otherwise Let's tap on next and then face unlock. If we scroll to the bottom, we can agree to add face unlock or no thanks. I'm firstly going to select no thanks, but you may want to set that one up. Now we see copy data from your Android. Let's tap on next and we have already been connected on the old pixel. So we don't need to reconnect. It is now searching for data, which is on your old Google Pixel 
to move to your new Google Pixel. And so this may take a couple of minutes, so please be patient. It is now asking us to choose what to copy. By default, everything will be copied over, but maybe you don't want that. So if you tap on the tick here, this will turn off an entire section for copying. And if you tap on the actual name, so let's say uh, apps, if I tap on apps, you can then choose manually what apps you don't want to be copied, or if you just want, let's say two apps, untick everything, and then tap on what you want to copy. So I'm personally gonna go through and just choose what I need. So to make this quick, I've turned off photos and apps. I would recommend you have these on, but you can see how long it takes to transfer. Uh, for the video, if I turn these two off, it will only take two minutes. So have everything ready and we'll tap on copy. Now, while it is copying data, it's going to ask if we want to use the Google services. So device backup, you can have this one on if you want, but it doesn't back up everything unless you pay extra. So I'll personally turn this one off. And location, you want this one on because the apps have to ask to use the location. However, scanning allows Google to use your location even if Wi-Fi and the network is off. So I'm personally gonna turn that one off and then send data, I'm gonna turn that one off and then we'll accept. Warranty information, we'll tap on next. And continue setup, this is asking for Google Pay, Google Assistant, if you want those, just tap on continue, but I'm personally going to leave. Additional apps, these apps I would recommend you have on your phone, so we'll tap on OK. And now the data transfer will begin. This did not mention WhatsApp at all. In WhatsApp, you will have to manually transfer your WhatsApp information. There should be on-screen instructions, but in the WhatsApp app, there should also be a menu in the settings which shows you what to do. The summary is on your old phone. You scan a QR code for your new phone and then everything will transfer immediately. So we now need to wait for the data transfer to finish. Now we see here, copying has been completed. We'll tap on done. It is now showcasing the swipe navigation I'm going to tap on skip and then we see all set. So if you swipe up to go home, you'll be stuck with the swipe gestures. You can always change them later, but if you want the buttons, tap on swipe navigation settings and then set this to free button navigation. And then we'll tap the home button to go home. So you can see it's transferred the wallpaper. And I didn't ask for the photos to be transferred, but my old messages are here and everything is here. With that being said, if you would like to help support the channel, please do check the description. Bye bye.